I play bass. I'm not very good at it, but what I like in talent, I try and make up for in practice. Actually, music is my first love, more than comedy. Like if you give me a choice, I would give up comedy in a heartbeat just to play music and especially the bass. I'm in a band with one of my oldest friends in the whole world, Muhammad. The bloody thieves. Check it out. I know it probably looks like it, but we shot this video in my living room. <laughs> uh, obviously, zero budget band, but with some, I think, good tunes behind us. This is my friend, Abdul Rahman. I've known him 28 years. We used to play snooker together. However, these days, his only mission is to make me a pious Muslim. <laughs> Maybe one day. In the meantime, we decided to go out for lunch to barbecue delights in Motor City. If you've never been to barbecue delights, I highly recommend it. It's good old fashioned Pakistani food, perfect for a quick afternoon lunch. We ordered the mixed grill platter for two along with some dal on the side, perfect. And after that, my favorite part of the meal, good old fashioned kadak chai. After chai, we had to head out because I had to get ready for tonight's gig at Miss Wang. My friend Nitesh had managed to sell out two nights in a row and I was on hosting duty. This is Miss Wang. It's a cozy restaurant and bar in Majestic Hotel. Probably one of the best spots to do comedy in. The drinks are cheap, the food is good. What else do you need? Ten minutes to showtime. All the comics are here, shooting the shit, hanging out. named after a penis, <laughs> yet you guys are here eating its food. The ladies like that joke, didn't you ladies? Maybe. I know you can't tell, but tonight was a tough crowd. There was a weird vibe in the room for some reason. I mean, it could have been because we had two bitch ass hecklers who wouldn't shut the hell up the entire night. Or it could have been anything else. But that's what I love about comedy. No two nights are the same. Every time you walk in the room expecting something, let me tell you, the opposite is going to happen. It's like some weird energy follows you around and makes sure it keeps you guessing. Then the comics took the stage. I'm gonna be honest, it was a mixed bag. Some of them bombed, some of them did well. But you know, that's the journey. If everyone crushed it, no one would respect this art form. So to see the good, you need to see the bad too. And that's the last time I speak like Master Ugwe. If you're wondering how the entire evening went, check this out. So guys, I'm here at uh, Miss Wang and... Okay, uh, audience, I mean, 
You can even see for yourself if you want. I think we can call that a successful evening, don't you? As usual, we all hung out after the show, catching up with each other, hanging out with the audience. Sometimes I wonder why we do this, why we take time out from our work, from our families, to come and perform in a room full of strangers for absolutely no money. But then when you finish a show and we're all hanging out, I remember why. that there are others like me who are as crazy in the head as I am. It's our unique little rush that we get to share with each other. And that's what makes everything worthwhile. <laughs> 